Hi, welcome back. Let's learn how to create or copy reconciliation account if it is missing for your company code. In S4 or 2021 or 22 or any S4 version you take, the similar concept which is applicable for ECC also. Let me try to help you out with this tip, okay, further to learn this. We have two transactions. One is for jail account creation, display or change FS000 and SKB1. This is the table. Basically, it is useful for GL accounts to find it out. I will show you with the practical how you can able to do it. It's quite common on practice system, but in real time, your FI consultant will help you out. You need not check all these things. For example, if you go for BP transaction, okay? So I have created, uh, for example, this customer. So when you come here, uh, so G, okay, let's try to, so let's try to extend it. This one, this role is not extended. Okay, I'll show you practically how the scenario will comes. So if you go to the company code, you enter. Certain time, this one is 100%. It is a mandatory field. Without this, you cannot able to create a your transactional data that you know very well. For example, this is what it is available. Okay, so then you cannot able to do this. And uh, okay, so you can, so, so this jail account, somewhere it is available in another company code. Okay, so what is the necessity of SKB1? For example, you have a standard templates like 001 and 002 and 1000. Those available them, that is fine because those, someone got deleted in this system, specifically it is got deleted. So for example, here, I'll put this GL account here. Okay, so let's click this. With this GL account, all these are the company codes available. For example, you can able to take any one of uh, the company uh, company code, uh, like you, know, you can able to take any one of this. So, you know, to extend to yours. For example, if I'm taking this one, Okay, let's go FS000 and first click this button. Okay, this is what you have to copy it so that you know. So you like to see the jail account. For example, please put the cursor here. Okay. So let's come here. All these are the different GL accounts available. This is trade receivable. This is the GL account. It is available. Okay. I would like to copy this one. Okay. When I would like to copy, this is the button. Okay. Copy. So I don't want to copy to the same G. My company code is DRT1. Okay. So now it is copied. So you can change the description and everything. This is Euro. This is for customer recon account. Okay. I'm good to go. All these things. So YB67, this is, I think they have defined on their own. Okay, and the account group GC not defined for this chartered of account TSL. Okay, so then you choose it. So maybe, maybe I will take something else. Maybe I'll take this. Still, it is not allowing. So it depends on the number and how you want it. So 14,000. One second, this. So I think this one I can take. Yeah. So this is allowed. This fine because this is linked with the uh, number range okay someone has created perfect way okay this is for vendors that we can able to see this now let's go to the bp okay so this is where you would like to extend uh, your uh, finance role so let's try to choose gf so let's try to extend it to your company code. Okay, now it is accepted. See this trade is equal. This is how that simple it is.
So it has a language which should be needed, no problem. We can do this, just go to the general data. This is a mandatory field. This is how it will show you. So, okay. So now go to the company code data. Yeah, let's save this. This is okay. Battery registration it is asking. So now it is saved. Okay. Now you can able to check uh, this is the company code data with this company code. It is got extended. Sales general data, customer general data. You can able to see this. The BP number. This is how you can able to use your what I would say FS double zero zero SKB one. See, there is nothing like restricted. You have to stop here. Someone is going to stop you. Okay. You learn something. Knowledge is always useful. So if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe my Udemy courses. Currently, I'm holding 6,525 students. So these are the two courses. This is for IDOC training. This is getting master trade of functional specific. And this is I recommend. If you are looking for S4 HANA, you try this course. You will not be disappointed. It will be 100% useful if you do the proper practice. So your BP, you can learn 100% picture perfect here. And this is for your business processes. And what I would like to see is that if you'd like to learn the pricing, ECC or S4 HANA, actually 90%, 95%, 95% to 98%, it is done on S4 HANA screens. Okay, you can try this at the pricing level. Okay, so that's it. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. That's what my request is all about. If you really like this video, please like it. It will be boost for me to do more videos and more knowledge transfer. Thank you so much. Have a great day.